Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Connecting Thoughts Conversation Cheat Sheet. Do you know how to connect ideas in your target language? With this cheat sheet, you'll learn the sentence structure X, but Y, plus must-now adverbs for connecting ideas. So download it for free right now. Second, the How to Stay Motivated with Language Learning eBook. If you want to know secrets and tricks that will help you stay motivated so you can stay consistent with your language journey and finally become fluent, you'll want this ebook. Download it right now! Third, can you talk about herbs and spices in your target language? Learn how to say garlic, ginger, pepper, and much more with this quick vocabulary bonus. Fourth, the 20 must-know hygiene words. If you're learning the language but don't know how to say toilet paper, soap, or toothpaste, then you definitely need this one-minute vocabulary lesson. Fifth, do you know how to talk about the weather in your target language? If you don't, access this one-minute lesson to learn 40 weather-related words and phrases. If you want to learn these words fast, use the free audio slideshow tool inside the lesson. Sixth, looking for a new language learning app? With the Innovative 101 app, you'll learn language fast and start speaking in minutes because the audio and video lessons are just 3 to 15 minutes long. Learning is that easy. Download Innovative 101 for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 33% off Premium or Premium Plus with the Monster Sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the lesson description below. Download them right now before they expire. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Hungarian. Hi everybody, my name is Jennifer. Welcome to the 800 Core Hungarian Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Hungarian. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. Okay, let's get started. First is Sia. Hello. Sia. Sia. Hello. Sia, rég láttalak. Hello, I haven't seen you for a while. Sia. Rég láttalak. Elnézést kérek. Excuse me. Elnézést kérek. Elnézést kérek. Excuse me. Elnézést kérek. Mennyi az idő? Excuse me. What time is it? Elnézést kérek. Mennyi az idő? Bocsánat. I'm sorry. Bocsánat. Bocsánat. I'm sorry. Bocsánat. Nem tudtam. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Bocsánat. Nem tudtam. Jó éjszakát! Good night! Jó éjszakát! Jó éjszakát! Good night! Jó éjszakát, és köszönöm szépen! Good night, and thank you very much! Jó éjszakát! És köszönöm szépen. Örülök, hogy megismertelek. Nice to meet you. Örülök, hogy megismertelek. Örülök, hogy megismertelek. Nice to meet you. Örülök, hogy megismertelek, Géza. Nice to meet you, Géza. Örülök, hogy megismertelek, 
Géza. Hogy vagy? How are you? Hogy vagy? Hogy vagy? How are you? Jó reggelt! Hogy vagy? Good morning! How are you? Jó reggelt! Hogy van? Igen. Yes. Igen. Igen. Yes. Igen, ez nagyon jó. Yes, it's very good. Igen, ez nagyon jó. Nem. No. Nem. Nem. No. Az alkohol nem tesz jót. Alcohol does no good. Az alkohol nem tesz jót. Köszönöm. Thank you. Köszönöm. Köszönöm. Thank you. Köszönöm, de én nem ezt rendeltem. Thank you, but I didn't order this. Köszönöm, de én nem ezt rendeltem. Vagyok. I'm. Vagyok. Vagyok. I'm. Liza vagyok. I am Lisa. Lisa vagyok. Viszlát! Goodbye! Viszlát! Viszlát! Goodbye! Akkor viszlát! Goodbye, then! Akkor viszlát. Rossz. Bad. Rossz. Rossz. Bad. Az étel rossz. The food is bad. Az étel Rossz. Jó. Good. Jó. Jó. Good. A zöldségek jók a szervezetednek. Vegetables are good for you. A zöldségek Jók a szervezetednek. Szép. Pretty. Szép. Szép. Pretty. Nagyon szép vagy. You are very pretty. Nagyon szép vagy. Csúnya, ugly, csúnya, csúnya, ugly. A csúnya kiskacsa egy gyönyörű hattyúvá vált. The ugly duckling became a beautiful swan. A csúnya kiskacsa egy gyönyörű Hattyúvá vált. Könnyű. Easy. Könnyű. Könnyű. 
easy. Ez a feladat könnyű. This problem is easy. Ez a feladat könnyű. Nehéz. Difficult. Nehéz. Nehéz. Difficult. A szerdai vizsga nehéz lesz. Wednesday's test will be difficult. A szerdai vizsga nehéz lesz. Közel. Near. Közel. Közel. Near. Az egyetemhez közel lakom. I live near the university. Az egyetemhez közel lakom. Távol. Far. Távol. Távol. Far. A nő valamit néz a távolban. The woman is looking at something far away. A nő valamit néz a távolban. Kicsi. Small. Kicsi. Kicsi. Small. Az autó kicsi, de nagyon erős. The car is small, but it's very powerful. Az autó kicsi, de nagyon erős. Today. Ma. Ma. Today. Ma igazán szomorúnak néz ki. She looks really sad today. Ma igazán szomorúnak néz ki. Tegnap. Yesterday. Tegnap. Tegnap. Yesterday. Tegnap ünnepnap volt, így nem kellett dolgozni. Yesterday was a holiday, so we had the day off. Tegnap ünnepnap volt, így nem kellett dolgozni. Holnap. Tomorrow. Holnap. Holnap. Tomorrow. Viszlát holnap. See you tomorrow. Viszlát holnap. Hét. Week. Hét. Hét. Week. Már egy hete meg vagyok fázva, és még mindig nem javulok. I've had a cold for one week, and I still haven't got better. Már egy hete meg vagyok fázva, és még mindig nem javulok. Év. Year. Év. Év. Year. Egy évben tizenkét hónap van. There are twelve months in a year. Egy évben tizenkét hónap van. Másodperc. Second. Másodperc. Másodperc. Second. T. 
10 másodpercig. For 10 seconds. 10 másodpercig. Perc. Minute. Perc. Perc. Minute. Egy perc van éjfélig. It's one minute to midnight. Egy perc van éjfélig. Óra. Hour. Óra. Óra. Hour. Nyolc órát alszom minden nap. I sleep for eight hours every day. Nyolc órát alszom minden nap. Óra. Clock. Óra. Óra. Clock. A fali óra a falon lóg. The wall clock is hanging on the wall. A fali óra a falon lóg. Óra A clock Óra Óra A clock Jaj, Istenem! Már kilenc óra? Oh my god! It's nine o'clock already? Jaj, Istenem! Már kilenc óra? Naptár Calendar Naptár Naptár Calendar Naptári hónap. Calendar month. Naptári hónap. Hétfő. Monday. Hétfő. Hétfő. Monday. A munkahét hétfőn kezdődik. The work week starts on Monday. A munkahét hétfőn kezdődik. Ked. Tuesday. Ked. Ked. Tuesday. Jövő hét ked. Tuesday next week. Jövő hét ked. Szerda. Wednesday. Szerda. Szerda. Wednesday. Szerda esténként nálam pókerezünk. Wednesday nights. We play poker at my house. Szerda esténként nálam pókerezünk. Csütörtök. Thursday. Csütörtök. Csütörtök. Thursday. Holnap szerda van, holnap után csütörtök. Tomorrow is Wednesday, and the day after tomorrow is Thursday. Holnap szerda van, holnap után csütörtök. Péntek, Friday. Péntek, Péntek, Friday. Írd be a pénteki terveket a naptárba. 
Write the plans for Friday on the calendar. Írd be a pénteki terveket a naptárba. Szombat Saturday Szombat Szombat Saturday Minden szombaton öt órát töltök házi munkával. I do housework every Saturday for five hours. Minden szombaton öt órát töltök házi munkával. Vasárnap. Sunday. Vasárnap. Vasárnap. Sunday. Vasárnapi reggeli. Sunday morning breakfast. Vasárnapi reggeli. Végez. Do. Nevet. Láb. Nevet. Nevet. Láb. A pár nevet a viccen. The couple laughs at the joke. A pár nevet a viccen. Finom. Delicious. Finom. Finom. Delicious. Ez az étel finom. This food is delicious. Ez az étel finom. Víz. Water. Víz. Víz. Water. A szomjas nő vizet iszik. The thirsty woman is drinking water. A szomjas nő vizet iszik. Tea. 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 Kér. Egy csésze teát. Would you like a cup of tea? Kér egy csésze teát. Kávé. Coffee. Kávé. Kávé. Coffee. A kávéskanna tele van kávéval. The coffee pot is full of coffee. A kávéskanna tele van kávéval. Sör. Beer. Sör. Sör. Beer. A csapos, csapolt sört csapol. The bartender is pouring a draft beer. A csapos, csapolt sört csapol. Bor. Wine. Bor. Bor. Wine. Egy pohár bor. Glass of wine. Egy pohár bor. Marhahús. Beef. Marhahús. Marha 
Húsz. Beef. A ma esti választék marha hús vagy csirke. Tonight's choices are beef or chicken. A ma esti választék marha hús vagy csirke. Csirke. Chicken. Csirke. Csirke. Chicken. Nem szeretem a csirke bőrét. I don't like chicken skin. Nem szeretem a csirke bőrét. Sertés hús. Pork. Sertés hús. Sertés. Hús. Pork. A sertés hús a disznó húsa. Pork is the meat from a pig. A sertés hús a disznó húsa. Hal. Fish. Hal. Hall. Fish. A japánok sok halat esznek. Japanese people eat a lot of fish. A japánok sok halat esznek. Bárány. Lem. Bárány. Bárány. Lem. Bárány hús szeletek. Lem chops. Bárány hús szeletek. Orvos. Doctor. Orvos. Orvos. Doctor. Az orvos a lábát vizsgálja. The doctor is examining the foot. Az orvos a lábát vizsgálja. Rendőr. Police officer. Rendőr. Rend. Őr. Police officer. A rendőr feladata, hogy szolgálja és védje a lakosokat. The job of a police officer is to protect and serve the public. A rendőr feladata, hogy szolgálja és védje a lakosokat. Tanár. Teacher. Tanár. Tanár. Teacher. Angol tanár. English teacher. Angol tanár. Alkalmazott. Employee. Alkalmazott. Alkalmazott. Employee. A cégemnek ezer alkalmazottja van. My company has 1000 employees. A cégemnek ezer alkalmazottja van. Jön. Come. Jön. Jön. Kam. A lány a kamera felé jött. The girl came towards the video camera. A lány a kamera felé jött. 
lat c lat lat c a turisták látták a naplementét the tourists saw the sunset a turisták látták a naplementét. Csinál. Make. Csinál. Csinál. Make. A férfi és a nő minden este vacsorát csinál. The man and the woman make dinner every night. A férfi és a nő minden este vacsorát csinál. Használ. Use. Használ. Használ. Use. A programozó a számítógépet használja. The programmer is using the computer. A programozó a számítógépet használja. Tud. Can. Tud. Tud. Can. Tud vezetni, de nem nagyon jól. He can drive, but not very well. Tud vezetni, de nem nagyon jól. Nulla. Zero. Nulla. Nulla. Zero. Ma körülbelül nulla fok van. It's about zero degrees today. Ma körülbelül nulla fok van. Egy. One. Egy. Egy. One. Egyes számú. Number one. Egyes számú. Kettő. Two. Kettő. Kettő. Two. A kettes szám a kedvenc számom. The number two is my favorite number. A kettes szám a kedvenc számom. Három. Three. Három. Három. Three. Az első csoport a hármas számú busszal érkezett. The first group arrived on bus number three. Az első csoport a hármas számú busszal érkezett. Négy. Four. Négy. Négy. Four. A november egy a négy harminc napos hónap közül. November is one of four months with thirty days. A november egy a négy harminc napos hónap közül. Öt. Five. Öt. Öt. Five.
a tengeri csillagnak öt ága van. The starfish has five legs. A tengeri csillagnak öt ága van. Hat. Six. Hat. Hat. Six. Minden reggel Hatkor ébredek. I wake up every morning at 6 o'clock a.m. Minden reggel hatkor ébredek. Hét. Seven. Hét. Hét. Seven. Minden hét hét napból áll. There are seven days in every week. Minden hét hét napból áll. Nyolc. Egy. Nyolc. Nyolc. Egy. A kislány nyolc éves. The girl is eight years old. A kislány nyolc éves. Kilenc. Nine. Kilenc. Kilenc. Nine. Kilenc mínusz kettő az hét. Nine minus two is seven. Kilenc mínusz kettő az hét. Tíz. Ten. Tíz. Tíz. Ten. El tudok számolni egytől tízig kínaiul. I can count from one to ten in Chinese. El tudok számolni egytől tízig kínaiul. Értékesítési szakember. Salesman. Értékesítési szakember. Értékesítési Szakember. Salesman. Ő egy értékesítési szakember. He is a salesman. Ő egy értékesítési szakember. Menedzser. Manager. Menedzser. Manager. Manager. A menedzser mérges lett. The manager got angry. A menedzser mérges lett. Szakács. Cook. Szakács. Szakács. Kok. Ő szakács egy négy csillagos étteremben. She is a cook at a four-star restaurant. Ő szakács egy négy csillagos étteremben. Mérnök. Engineer. Mérnök. Mér, nök. Engineer. Egy jó mérnök rendszereket tud tervezni és építeni. A good engineer can design and build systems. Egy jó mérnök rendszereket tud tervezni és építeni. 
Programozó. Programmer. Programozó. Programozó. Programmer. A programozó egy e-mailt gépel. The programmer is typing an email. A programozó egy e-mailt gépel. Nővér. Nurse. Nővér. Nővér. Nurse. A nővér az iskolai rendelőben megvizsgál egy diákot. The nurse at the school infirmary is examining the student. A nővér az iskolai rendelőben megvizsgál egy diákot. Test. Body. Test. Test. Body. Az élelem üzemanyag a testnek. Food is fuel for the body. Az élelem üzemanyag a testnek. Fej. Head. Fej. Fej. Head. Viselj sisakot, hogy véd a fejed. Wear a helmet to protect your head. Viselj sisakot, hogy véd a fejed. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is five ways to make sure you start on the right foot with language learning. Ever wondered if you're on the right path with your language learning or if you're studying the right things and taking the right steps? Well, today you'll learn how to start on the right foot with your language learning journey. We'll talk about 1. Why you must know your reason for learning the language. 2. How to set fail-proof goals and rewards. 3. How to match your daily routine to your learning so that you don't struggle with the actual learning. 4. Why you need anchor points for long-term motivation. And 5. How to improve faster with ongoing assessment. How to start off on the right foot with your language learning journey. There are five things you, as a language learner, need to address if you want to start off on the right foot. Here they are. One, your reason for learning. Two, your goal and reward. Three, matching your routine to your medium. Four, anchor points. And five, assessment. If you get these squared away in your first month, you'll be set up to succeed with any language goal you set. And today, we'll walk you through each point. The first one, your reason for learning. Why are you learning the language? So why is thinking about your why so important? Here's an example. Think back to when you were a kid and you were trying to save money. What was the first thing you wanted to buy and how much did it cost? You probably still remember what it was and how much it cost. And because you knew the specific price, you were able to save up for it. If not, at the very least, you made more progress than if you just said, I want to save money, with no specific purpose in mind. And that's the thing. If you know precisely why you're doing something, it's easy to tie a goal to it. And there are all kinds of reasons to learn a language. There's travel, family, friends, love, or maybe you're living in a country that speaks it. So knowing your reason clarifies your mission and gives you motivation from the start. Now, some reasons are stronger than others. For example, living in a country that speaks the language is a powerful reason. You need it for survival. If your reason for learning is something simpler, like, I just want to watch TV in that language, it's not exactly something you need to survive. Does it matter whether you have a strong reason or not? Not necessarily. 
Strong reasons help with motivation initially, but people with strong reasons can and do fail, and people with weak reasons succeed. It's all up to the individual. But the point is, you need to know why you're doing this, and that's enough for you to take the first step. The second point, goals and rewards. Once you've clarified your reason, it's time to set your goals. If you want to succeed, your goal can't just be, I want to be fluent one day. Why? Because this tells you nothing about how you'll achieve it or when you'll reach fluency. It's too vague. Your goal needs to be small, measurable, realistic, and have a deadline, so you can clearly see the steps you need to take to reach your goal. Instead of saying, I want to be fluent one day, which you can't measure and can't precisely determine, aim for, for example, 30 words or one minute of conversation. You can measure these goals. If you have a deadline like by next month, you know your time frame. And unlike a goal like I want to be fluent, a goal like I want to be able to talk for one minute is much more realistic. Now, what about rewards? Now that you've set a goal, you need to tie rewards to your goal. Why rewards? Shouldn't you work hard first and worry about rewards later? Because rewards are powerful motivators, you should be working hard. But hard work often is not fun and you need something to push you through. When you come home after a long day of work on a rainy day, soaking wet, the last thing you want to do is open a book and start studying. It's so much easier to turn on Netflix or something. But having that reward reminds you, if I achieve this, then I get that. So defining what's in it for me, what do I get, boosts your motivation. You have something to look forward to and get you through times when you don't feel like doing work. The third point is, Match your routine to the study medium. Once you have your goals and rewards, you need to fit your language learning into your current life and daily routine. How? Sit down and write out your daily schedule for every day of the week. For example, wake up at 7 a.m., breakfast at 8 a.m., get on the bus at 9 a.m., work from 9.30 a.m., lunch at 1 p.m., and so on. Do this for every day of the week. That way, you can see where you can fit in learning. For example, if you ride the bus in the morning, you can use that time to listen to our audio lessons. Why do this? Well, language learning is a brand new routine. If you don't work from your existing daily routines, it may not work out. For example, if you decide to wake up an hour earlier to study, now you're adding two new routines, waking up earlier and learning a language at once. One is hard enough, but two makes it even harder. You may not wake up on time. You may not get out of bed. You may fall right back to sleep. The point here is you should piggyback off of your existing routines and use a learning medium that matches your routine. So instead of waking up earlier, keep your daily routine, but look for another way to introduce language learning. Write out your daily routine, see where you spend your time, and then match your routine to learning. If you take walks and listen to music, swap out music for language lessons and listen along. If you take the bus or train, check out our audio and video lessons. If you usually read in the evenings and can focus, try using a textbook. In all of these examples, you're taking an existing routine and adding language learning inside. The fourth point is set anchor points. Anchor points are the connections you make to a language that boost your motivation and keep you attached or anchored to your goal so you don't slip away. So what's an example of an anchor point? For example, if you have friends or relatives that speak the language, and if you're around them and you're exposed to the language, you're more likely to learn. Same thing with watching TV shows in the target language. You're exposed to it more, so your interest in learning naturally goes up. Also, investing in a textbook or learning program, signing up for classes or for a proficiency test. All of these are anchor points that connect you back to the language. Why do you need anchor points? Oftentimes, your initial reason for learning the language isn't as motivating as it used to be. Maybe you were motivated in month one, but not in month five. That's why people with strong reasons might fail. So an anchor point gives you another reason to keep going and boost your motivation. And also, oftentimes, the reason we start isn't the same as the reason we continue. Anchor points are not something you need to worry about in your first month of learning, but adding them in the second month and afterward will help you keep going. Can you think of any anchor points you can add? Leave a comment. Finally, the fifth point is you need assessment. Now that you have goals, rewards, a routine, and anchor points, it's not enough to learn a language alone in a vacuum. You need feedback and course correction from a native speaker. 
With our learning program, you can learn with your very own teacher. You can also leave comments on lessons and get answers from the others. Or you can find a tutor of your own, someone that will assess your progress and correct you as needed. So, let's recap. There are five things you, as a language learner, need to address if you want to start off on the right foot. One, clarify your reason for learning. Two, set goals and rewards. Three, match your routine with your study medium. Four, set anchor points. And five, get ongoing assessment. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time we'll talk about how to deal with missed language goals and failure. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Want to cut your language studying time in half? In this video, you'll discover how learning a language using PDF lessons is convenient, efficient, and can help you cut your studying time nearly in half. Many people give up on their dream of learning a second language because traditional classroom instruction is too much of a hassle. Between getting to class, studying on someone else's schedule, and just the sheer expense of the books and tuition, traditional learning can be tough. Many people simply give up. Online classes are an option, but sometimes limited data plans can derail the dream of learning a new language. Fortunately, there is a solution, learning language using PDF lesson notes. Let's take a closer look at how studying language lessons in PDF format can help you reach your dream in about half the time of normal video or audio lessons. First, print all lessons in PDF tools and take them with you anywhere. Sometimes a tiny smartphone screen just isn't adequate, especially when you're trying to learn something new. The great thing about PDF lessons is that they can be quickly printed and taken anywhere after you download them. In fact, Printing out lessons in PDF format can actually save you time when compared to going through the material on a smartphone with a small screen, even with the extra printing time. Second, they're a great study tool to boost retention and mastery. Studying video or audio lessons online is a great way to learn a language because students can play and rewind sections as many times as needed until the lesson is mastered. But when you review the same lessons again in PDF format, an incredible thing happens your retention dramatically improves. Thanks to time-spaced repetition, seeing the information again in written format helps reinforce the information in your mind and improves both retention and recall. The benefits of learning a language using PDF lessons quickly add up to significant time savings for you, your data plan, and your dream of learning a new language. Third, all lessons in PDF format include in-depth instructor notes. We have thousands of HD video and audio lessons, and each one includes a PDF version with a line-by-line -line transcript, so you can read along with the lesson as it appears online. In addition to the line-by-line -line transcript, all lessons include in-depth instructor notes with more information, sample sentences, explanations, and translations. The additional information and notes help you learn faster and with greater mastery than using the video or audio lessons alone. And when paired with language learning video games, video and audio lessons, or other study aids, our PDF lessons help you reach your dream of learning a new language faster and easier than many traditional classroom settings. Fourth, you can download the world's largest online collection of lessons by real instructors. Planning on going on vacation and don't know if you'll have reliable internet service? If you're learning through PDF lessons, it's not a problem. Once you download lessons in PDF format to your smartphone, PC, or favorite media device, they are yours to use and keep forever. Once downloaded, you can either print out or access your lessons in PDF format, regardless of internet access. When you consistently learn through PDF lessons, the time savings and benefits quickly compound. From quicker access to faster learning, PDF lessons can potentially reduce total study time required to learn a concept. Our PDF lessons include instructor notes and supplemental resources that help you learn faster and with less effort. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. 
If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Are you afraid of making mistakes in your target language? Afraid you'll never ever be able to have a conversation or give a presentation? Or maybe you're afraid of something else? In this video, we'll cover four fears related to language learning and how to overcome them. The first one is, I'm afraid I'm not good enough to speak. I freeze. Do you feel like you're not good enough to speak yet? A lot of people can relate to this one. Probably all language learners have felt this at some point. It's a pretty common fear. Here are some tips to overcome it. First, speak from day one. The best way to get good at speaking is to practice speaking. If you're holding yourself back because you think you're not good enough, you're making a mistake. That's exactly why you're not improving. You need to open your mouth and start talking. Second, if you're not sure what to say to start speaking, consider practicing with existing dialogues. In our lessons, you get scripts for introducing yourself, making small talk, ordering food, expressing opinions, and much more. If you're looking for some things to use for speaking practice, the lessons will give you the exact lines and conversations. Our third tip, learn with your own teacher with our Premium Plus plan. With Premium Plus, you get an actual native speaker teacher to tell you what to say and how to say it. You can actually learn to speak with the help of a real native teacher. Fear number two is, I'm afraid I'll never be fluent. This is a common fear for beginner learners. Once you start improving and seeing progress, this goes away. When you're just starting out with a new language, fluency can feel like an impossible goal. There are so many new things to learn and so many methods you can use. It's easy to get overwhelmed with all the options. But you can't let yourself fall into that trap. The longer you keep at it, the better your language skills will become. And slowly, you'll stop worrying about fluency. What's important is that you put in time and continue working on moving forward. So, how do you overcome worries about never becoming fluent? How do you motivate yourself to continue? First, set small, specific goals instead of just saying, I want to become fluent. How do you know when you've become fluent? Fluency is hard to determine. Instead of creating a vague, hard to understand goal for yourself, focus on working towards smaller goals. For example, set goals like being able to introduce yourself or having a five minute conversation. Something you can measure so you'll know when you've reached it. Fluency can be difficult to measure. If you set goals that you can measure, you can track your progress. This helps keep your motivation up over time. The third fear is, I'm afraid I'm not actually learning or making progress. If you're afraid you're not making progress, there are a few things you can do right now. First of all, review. A lot of people hear a new phrase once and think they'll remember it, but that usually doesn't happen. So when they forget what they've learned, they get worried that they're not learning or that the lessons don't work. But the truth is, you have to review again and again to truly master something. Second, use the dashboard to track your progress. If numbers and data are helpful for you as you track your learning, check out our dashboard. It tracks your progress and gives you dynamic reports. Third, try a harder lesson on the site. You might not understand it all at first, and that's okay. You'll be able to after some study. All lessons come with line-by-line -line translations and our teachers explain every single word. Break down these harder lessons. If you have to work a little more slowly, it's okay. When you finish the lesson, you can be sure of your progress because you'll be able to understand something you didn't understand a few minutes earlier. Fourth, learn one-on-one -on -one with a teacher with our Premium Plus plan. They will personally review your writing and your speaking and will fix your mistakes. Getting regular feedback from a native speaker is a great way to know if you're making progress. It's such a great feeling to hear a native speaker tell you, wow, you're getting good. The fourth fear is, I'm afraid of not understanding anything I hear. This is very common. You hear advanced grammar and vocabulary and it goes completely over your head. You have no idea what you've just heard. Here are some tips for working on this issue. If you're taking an advanced lesson, read along with the script. Reading along with our line-by-line -line dialogue is the best way to improve your understanding of advanced conversations. If you're in a real-life situation, the solution is quite simple. Learn useful phrases like, excuse me, can you say it again slower? Or, can you say it in simpler words? Or even just, I don't understand. 
There's nothing wrong with saying that you didn't understand something or asking for help. These are some common fears for most language learners, and we hope these tips help you. Is there anything else that you're afraid of when it comes to learning another language? Let us know in the comments, and maybe we can share some suggestions for how to overcome them. For the tools we've talked about in this video and much more, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Are you struggling to reach your language learning goals or losing motivation for learning? In this video, we're going to talk about how to reach your goals, how to enjoy the process, and the importance of rewarding yourself. Part one, how to reach your language goals. It's pretty exciting when you reach a goal. You know your hard work is paid off and you can see your results. But how do you set goals to ensure you can reach them and get that feeling of satisfaction? The best way to see real results and achieve your language learning goals is to set small, measurable goals. Many people make the mistake of setting big, vague goals, like I wanna be fluent, or I wanna speak a new language. Then they download an app or get a textbook and they try to reach their goal. But they quickly give up because the goal they've set for themselves is too overwhelming. This is why it's important to set small, measurable, monthly or weekly goals from the beginning of your studies. Reaching your goals helps you develop confidence in yourself and your ability to get things done. For example, you might make it a goal to be able to have a one-minute conversation by the end of your first month of studies and have a two-minute conversation by the end of month two. Maybe after six months, you aim to have a 10-minute conversation with someone. Specific, measurable goals like these help you track your progress and prevent you from getting overwhelmed. By creating small goals like these, you set yourself up for success. When you reach one of your goals, even if it's a small one, you feel a sense of accomplishment. This helps you enjoy the learning process, which is the next topic we're going to focus on. Part two, how to enjoy the language learning process. If you're always focused on goals and results though, how do you enjoy the process of learning a language? Okay, so let's say that in addition to larger goals, you've made small realistic goals like learning 100 words in a month. That's three to four words per day. Goals like these are very easy to accomplish, and when you complete them, it feels good. This is one of the enjoyable parts of learning a language. So, imagine accomplishing small goals all throughout your week. It's a great way to keep your motivation up and enjoy the process of learning. Smaller goals can help you stay on track and keep your confidence up. When we feel like we're not making progress, we can get frustrated and lose motivation. Think about days when you're super busy at work or at school. Some days, you might be so busy you don't complete any tasks. When nothing seems to move forward, we can lose confidence in ourselves and feel like quitting. This is why giving yourself some small, easy to accomplish goals can be extremely helpful. You can approach your studies with confidence because you know that you're working towards your next goal and that you can actually achieve it. Here's something you can try if you feel like your progress has slowed down. Go back and review something you studied a few weeks or a few months earlier. Try to remember how difficult it was at first. Looking over past materials can help us understand how much we've grown. The same thing is true for conversations. When you start learning a language, you'll learn things like how to introduce yourself, ask basic questions, and talk about the weather. After a few months of study, though, you'll learn how to talk about your hobbies, your neighborhood, or your personality. It's sometimes hard to remember just how much progress we've made, but look back on your work from time to time. All those hours you put in are reflected in your current abilities. It's exciting when you realize how far you've come. Of course, some people might also reflect on mistakes they made, especially if these mistakes led to miscommunications with native speakers. While these memories can be embarrassing, they can still be useful for your studies. Try to shift your mindset towards mistakes. Making an embarrassing mistake can be helpful in the long run because we remember the experience vividly and we want to avoid repeating it. If the mistake wasn't so embarrassing, maybe you can laugh about it and use that memory to ensure you make the right decision in the future. Lastly, we want to remind everyone of the most enjoyable part of the language learning process, the new friends, connections, and experiences you gain through the language. You can use the language you're studying as a tool to create friendships, to meet new people, and to travel. If you ever get to a point where learning isn't fun or interesting anymore, take a moment and consider why. Are you getting overwhelmed? Falling behind on your goals? 
If your schedule has changed or your goals have changed, that's fine. Adjust your study plan and your study goals to make the learning process work for you. Revise your approach and make sure you're enjoying learning. Part three, the importance of rewards. If you haven't gotten into the practice of rewarding yourself for reaching a goal, now is a great time to start. A reward can be a powerful way to motivate yourself to complete a goal. If your reward is travel or event related, it can also act as a finite deadline. This can push you to focus even more. You can decide to reward yourself with something you buy, with an experience, or maybe just with some time to relax. Choose a reward that will work best for you. Positive reinforcement can be very helpful in the learning process. It's one thing to hit a goal and feel good about it, but if you have a reward too, it seals the deal. It helps you keep the cycle going and will help you keep learning. So today we covered goal setting, how to enjoy the process of learning, and the importance of rewards. Make sure you set small measurable goals in addition to your larger goals. Find ways to enjoy the process of studying and make sure to reward yourself for your achievements. Learning a language should be fun and satisfying. For some more resources to help you reach your goals, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Want to speak and understand more of your target language? If so, of course, you'll need to know more words and phrases than you do now. In this video, we'll cover five ways to master new words and phrases fast. Number one, use our free vocabulary list. This is a free library of vocabulary and phrase lessons for all kinds of situations. You can learn words and phrases for current events, holidays like Halloween and Thanksgiving, and useful topics like the top 10 ways to say hello, conversational phrases, and more. You'll learn phrases that you won't find in textbooks. If you want to learn extra fast, use the slideshow tool. Just tap or click on View Slideshow, then sit back and review the words and phrases. Find the vocabulary list in the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site. These vocabulary lists are free for all users. Number two, take the audio and video lessons. One of the best ways to learn new words is by hearing and using them in conversations. This is because it gives you the opportunity to understand how the words are actually used. In every lesson dialogue, you'll likely come across some words you don't know, but don't worry because our teachers translate everything. When you hear the conversation again at the end of the lesson, you'll be familiar with the words you didn't know at first. Number three, learn with our 2000 most common words list. A quick question, how many words do you think you need for conversational fluency? 3000, 5000? It's actually not as many as you think. Language experts say you need about 1500 words to reach conversational fluency. With our 2,000 most common words list, you'll get access to key vocabulary words you need to boost your conversation skills. The words are broken down into simple categories, such as adjectives, nouns, verbs, food, drinks, numbers, months, and so on. So you can go category by category and focus on what you're most interested in first. With this tip, we're not talking about paper flashcards. We're talking about the smart flashcards that you can find in our premium study tools. This is an automatic system individualized for each member based on their study needs. First, you'll use the cards to check your knowledge. Then, according to your answers, the cards will be sorted according to which words you need more practice with. Words that you struggle with will be shown to you more and more. You'll see words that you know well less often. This system helps you study more efficiently. It displays the words you need to work on and knows when you should refresh your knowledge. This helps make sure you don't forget vocabulary. In every study session, these cards will help you refresh your memory on the words you learned last time and introduce new words. Number five, use the words. After you learn a new word, using it right away is crucial to remembering it. So when you're done with a lesson or a vocab list, here's something you can do. Leave a comment. Make up a sample sentence and post it in the comment section. Write it down in a notebook or shadow the word with a lesson's dialogue. 
Our language learning program is full of tools that can help you speak more. Just pick one and get started. If you want to unlock all of these study tools, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Great work! Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.